Hello and welcome to Trade of the Week on Monday, the 12th of June, 2023. Last week, we went short uh, silver uh, on a technical uh, trade. And as you can see here on the daily financial bet, we did have a dip down, but only for a day uh, before we got stopped out a few days later on this uh, trade just above at $24.03, just above the uh, early June high. So yes, we made a small loss on this trade. Um, and that's what a stop loss is for. So the downtrend we expected to, to continue didn't take shape. Instead, the price of silver went back up again. But a trade from a, a couple of weeks ago, I think three weeks ago now actually, uh, is still ongoing. Uh, for those of you who stayed long on uh, our long cable position, so we went long here, and uh, that is still on track to reach uh, 126.60 if you're still long on this trade. So um, that looks uh, pretty good. Uh, if you did get in with us around uh, the 124.20 level or so, uh, it probably makes sense to, to move your stop loss to break even. That way you're not risking any of your um, current uh, capital on this trade. And uh, this week's trade of the week, what I would like to do is to actually go long um, the CBOE volatility index. And here we've got the daily financial bet. And as you can see here, we've been falling very sharply over the last few weeks as the volatility index has reached levels last seen before the pandemic. As you can see here, we are trading at levels last seen in February of 2020. So to me, that says the investors are very complacent about uh, equity markets at the moment. They keep buying them. They continue to go up. Last week, the S&P 500 entered officially a bull market by rising by over 20% since the October lows. Um, but at the same time, we have the CNN uh, greed and fear index hitting extreme greed levels. So that is a contrarian indicator and could potentially mean that with the US inflation data out this week, with the central banks uh, out this week, with potential rate hikes being seen by the Fed, although it's not expected, the European Central Bank and the Bank of Japan, we could get a lot of volatility. So that's why I want to go long the VIX index at 1680 at current levels uh, with a stop loss at 1460. And that is uh, way down below the February 2020 lows and an upside target of uh, 1980. So today's uh, trade of the week is to go long the VIX index at uh, 1680 with a stop loss at 1460 and an upside target of 1980.